Madame Bach to my YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Thank you. Good morning, grade 7 learners. I am Ma'am Lorna D. Gonzalez, and for this week, we will be studying about the module 1 of the first quarter entitled, Supplying Other Words or Expressions that Complete an Analogy. In other words, we will be studying about analogy. So, at the end of this module, you are expected to know the different categories to complete an analogy, make comparisons between concepts and complete analogies, and create analogies to build your skills for learning new words. First, let us discuss what is an analogy. Analogy is a comparison between two things and the comparison is used to determine the relationship between different sets of things. The key words that you have to remember here are the words comparison and relationship. In analogy, you will be encountering things being compared with each other and you have to determine the relationship between the different sets of things that are being compared. For you to be able to understand it better, I have here an example. So we have here the dog and the cat. The analogy is, arf is to dog as meow is to cat. So, let us identify the difference between the cat and the dog. The difference is that the sound of the dog is arf, while the sound of the cat is meow. Now, what is the relationship between them? Both of them produce sound when they want to communicate. I have here another example. Doctor is to hospital as teacher is to blank. So what are we going to use to complete this analogy? Is it letter A, teach, or letter B, school? For you to be able to identify what is the right word to use to complete this analogy, let us first identify what is the relationship between the doctor and the hospital. What do you think is the relationship between the doctor and the hospital? Is the hospital the work of the doctor or the workplace of the doctor? Yes, the hospital is the workplace of the doctor. Therefore, we will be looking about the workplace of the teacher. Is, a, is teach letter A? The workplace of the teacher? No. Teach is the work or the job of the teacher. Therefore, our answer here is letter B, school. Because school is the workplace of the teacher. Therefore, the analogy here is doctor is to hospital as teacher is to school. Next, we will be discussing about the different types of analogies or the different ways for you to be able to easily identify or complete an analogy. These are synonym, antonym, part to whole, function to thing, characteristic to thing, and product to thing. Here are the examples. For synonym, we have finish is to end. Since finish has the same meaning with the word end. For antonym, we have the analogy hat is to cold. Because hat is the opposite of the word cold. Part to whole, finger is to hand. Because finger is a part of the hand. Function to thing, we have here cook is to stove. Because the... The function of stove is to cook. Characteristic to thing, we have here slippery is to ice because the characteristic of the ice is, is slippery. Product to thing, 
we have here milk is to cow because the product of the of the cow is a milk. So some of you are asking me during the uh, yesterday when you are answering the pretest, you are asking me about series of words. You still do not know what you are going to answer in the pretest. So now let us uh, let us analyze each item in the pretest as well as the type of analogy used in each item. Number one, we have kitchen is to house as keyword is to black. The type of analogy used in this item is part is to whole. Why? Because kitchen is part of the house. Therefore, we will be looking now for the uh, thing that has a keyboard. So from the choices given, letter A, computer, B, bedroom, C, wires, D, classroom, what has a keyboard? Of course, the answer here is letter A, computer. Next, number two, sad is to happy as bored is to blank. The type of analogy used here is antonym because sad is the opposite of happy. Therefore, we will be looking now for the antonym or the opposite word of bored. From the choices given, the opposite word of bored is letter C, exciting. Not gloomy, not tired, and not angry. Number three, wing is to bird as thin is to blank. In this analogy, they use part to whole because wing is a part of the bird. Therefore, we will be looking now for an animal that has fin. So, what is an animal that has fin from the choices given? Is it letter A, frog, B, bat, C, duck, or D, fish? The answer is letter D, fish. Number four, wheel is to car as propeller is to blank. The type of analogy used here is part to whole because wheel is a part of the car. So how about propeller? What, uh, from the choices given, what do you think has propeller? Is it letter A, train, B, train, C, bike, or D, truck? The answer is, yes, letter B, plane. Number five, whisker is to cat as fangs is R to black. The analogy used here is, again, part to whole because whisker is a part of a cat. So how about fangs? Is it letter A, bird, B, goat, C, snake, D, lizard? It's, it is, the answer is letter C, snake. Number six, pretty is too beautiful as thin is to black. The type of analogy used here is synonym. And as you have seen, the answer is slender because slender uh, is the synonym of the word thin. They have the same meaning. Number seven, push is to pull as give is to black. The type of analogy used here is antonym because push is the opposite of pull. So therefore, what is the opposite of give? Is it letter A, donate, B, lend, C, share, or D, take? The answer is letter D, take because take is the opposite of the word give, give and take. Next, number eight, awake is to sleep as difficult is to blank. The type of analogy used here is antonym. So what is the opposite of the word difficult? It is letter A, hard, B, tough, C, smooth, D, easy. The answer is letter D, easy. 
How about number 9? Let's move to number 9. We have here, toe is to foot as snow is to black. The analogy used here, or the type of the analogy used here is part to whole because toe is a part of the foot. So now, we will be looking for something that has nose. Is it letter A, smell? B, face? C, mouth? D, eyes? The answer is letter B, face. And the last one, number 10, we have stem is to flower as leg is to black. The type of analogy used here is part to whole because stem is part of flower. Therefore, we will be looking for something that has leg. Is it letter A, chair? B, paper, C, arm, D, neck. The answer is letter A, chair. Okay, now, uh, I hope you have understood the, the lesson discussed to you for today. And I hope you are now ready for the independent activity that will be posted in our classroom. Good day and keep safe.